Hey team, welcome to my session on Coffee with Prabh and today we're going to discuss about CISSP Domain 6 exam summary. I already made the exam summary mind map of Domain 1 to Domain 5. So this is basically Domain 6 which is called as a security assessment and testing. Now when you're talking about this domain, people used to take this domain for granted. But this domain is very very important for your exam preparation. Make sure when you're preparing for this domain, do not skip these topics which I'm going to cover in this session. If you're new to my YouTube channel, click on the subscribe button and bell icon to make sure you should not miss my future videos. My name is Prabh Nair. For more information, you can refer my LinkedIn profile. So without wasting a time, let's start with the first part. Domain 1, Domain 6, Security Assessment Testing. Okay, it's a very important domain. In this domain, we're, doing it, we, 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 we're basically talking about how to test and how to perform the assessment. Now, what is the difference between the assessment and testing? Assessment is a process and testing is a series of activity we perform against the control. Example, I'm doing an assessment of an organization. So in that, we're talking about assess, uh, testing of the firewall controls, testing of the password controls of the system. So testing is basically part of the assessment. Domain one, talk about governance. Domain 2 talk about asset security where we organize and manage the asset. Domain 3 we basically talking about uh, uh, security architecture engineering where we building a security. Domain 4 talk about networks where we building a network and network security. Once we have a network security we need to apply the necessary controls. So controls is basically part of the domain 5 identity and access management and once the control is implemented we need to perform the assessment and that assessment is a part of a domain six in this domain it, this domain is start with the part of audits so we have a three type of audits audit is basically introduced to improve the process we have a first party which is an internal audit we have a second party which is a supplier audits and th a third party audit which is you face as a regulatory or iso audits so that is the first thing we have in the domain six. So you need to have a very good understanding about the audit and audit practice. Moving ahead in this domain, also another important topic is called as a SOC report, system organization control or service organization system. There is a one dedicated video I made on the SOC report. Make sure you should review that video. This video or this topic, you can say very important for the domain six, okay? So in which we're talking about SOC 1, SOC 2, SOC 3, then type 1 and type 2 of SOC 1 and SOC 2. It's very important for you to understand, especially their use cases. Slowly and gradually in this domain, we also talk about the penetration testing. CISSP refer NIST for their best practices. So going with the EC Council methodology or going with the Austin methodology will not help you in the exam. My suggestion is that refer the NIST based penetration testing approach in which the first part we talk about planning second is discovery third is uh, attack and fourth is basically called as a reporting so reporting is done parallel in all the phases okay so that is the approach you need to understand and there is a dedicated video i made on domain 6 security assessment where i have covered these questions then in this domain we also talk about the simulations monitoring where we have a real user monitoring and we have a synthetic monitoring it's very important for you to know the use case of real user monitoring and synthetic monitoring so then gradually we also talk about the cve which is called as a common vulnerability exposure and cvss which is called as a common vulnerability scoring matrix common vulnerability exposure and common vulnerability scoring matrix so it is very important for you to know the scoring matrix especially environmental score, base score and all that. Then the next part we talk about, uh, which is called as a security assessment plan and security assessment report. Objective of security assessment report is to provide the effectiveness and evidence of the controls. So it's very important for you to know the intent of the SAP and intent of the SAR. I will recommend you to review the NIST SAP document, which give you visibility about the structure of the SAP document, uh, SAP structure. Then we also talk about the breach and attack simulation. So you need to have a very good understanding of the BAS. Then we talk about the ISCM information security continuous monitoring, which talk about how to do the monitoring from the enterprise level. 
We're starting with the compliance level to the data driven monitoring. Then we talk about the log management in which understanding of NTP protocol is very important. Now we're moving to the non-security, which is called as a functional testing, in which we talk about the use, use it is called unit testing, integration testing, interface testing, system testing. These topics are very important. Then smoke testing, regression testing, okay, use case of regression testing. So you can refer that particular section. And then we talk about the PT boxes, penetration testing boxes, white box, gray box, okay, black box. Then we also talk about the fuzzing, mutation and dumb fuzzing, sorry, smart and mutate uh, mutation for fuzzing. So fuzzing use case is very important for you to understand. Overt and covert testing, penetration testing approach. The best approach is basically doing the penetration from external to internal. You need to know about the blind, blind, uh, this called blind and double blind testing, targeted testing. Okay, what is the first step in the PT? NDA need to be signed. What is ideally a good PT report? What is the intent of the PT? So all those things is very important for you to understand. This domain look very simple and very small, but do not ignore this domain. CBK 6th edition has covered major of the points. I will request you to review the CBK 6th edition for this. This is all from my side on the domain 6. If you find this video useful, click on the like button, share in your network. And if you're new to my channel, do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click on the bell icon. And do let me know what is the next video you want from my YouTube channel. Thank you.